In the last episode, I recorded the acoustic guitar part. Today, I'm going to show you how I double that part. I like to do this sometimes against uh, using a stereo mic setup on the guitar because it gives it even more width because you have two separate takes. So what I'm trying to do is play exactly along to the original recording. So it's almost like it's the same exact thing, but there's no way you can possibly play exactly the same. So the subtleties are going to give it some some width and some layer. So I'm going to start off by showing you a little bit more about the microphone setup that I used for this. It's the same setup from yesterday, but I'm going to show you a little bit more detail about the placement, how far it is away from the guitar. So we'll start with that. Here we have the M Audio Sputnik, and you'll notice it's facing around where the neck and the body meet. If I was to do this, it would be too boomy, and it would have the weird low end muddiness coming out of the sound hole. And if I went over here too far, it's going to sound thin, you're not going to have much body to it. So This is where I like it to be, typically. Of course I'll experiment with different mic positions, but for this one that's what I kind of landed on, uh, for this album that is. So let's check it out from the side too so you can see the distance. Okay, so as you can see, it's probably about six inches from the guitar. Of course, I try to move as little as possible, but sometimes it's hard to start getting into it, move around. Um, so I just try to keep it as close as possible to that one spot. It's about six inches, and I try to do that same distance between the main original take and then the doubling take just so it has a similar sound. So I have recorded the main acoustic guitar track for this. So now is the part of doubling. So I'm going to play the exact same thing that I just played over again trying to be as tight as I can with the previous take because they're going to both be played together, pan left and right, and it's going to make it sound real nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and record this. Okay, here we have the acoustic guitar coming through. So, channel 6 right here, that is the original acoustic guitar part. So, right now it's playing by itself. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch over to the audio from the board, and I'm going to bring up that second guitar, and you'll see it just adds a little fullness, but it doesn't do a whole lot. But then when I pan them left and right, you'll notice a big difference. And that's the reason I'm doing all this. You'll see why. So that is one guitar track. And here's what happens when we bring in the second one and add that left and right width. It sounds good, so that's the reason for doing that. Okay, that's going to do it for today's episode. From here, I'm going to be doing this same thing for all the songs on the album. Some of them I still have to finish the original guitar track and the double part because I do like to do the doubling immediately after recording it. That way it's fresh in my head, the subtle ways that I played it, and it just seems to go smoother that way. And then after I finish the guitar parts, it will be, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll either do some finger picking parts, which will be stereo mic acoustic guitar on a different guitar, either that or drum and percussion parts or bass parts. So stay tuned. Another episode's coming soon.